everybody, what's up? Got my PRS SE Tremonti. Uh, replaced the pickup with a DiMarzio Crunch Lab. Um, got this guitar about 10 years ago. It's a Korean world musical instruments. Korean guitar, fantastic guitar, very light. Very light, great stage guitar. Doesn't weigh you down. Um, if you're used to playing the Les Pauls, which I am, which I love. Love the single cuts, that's where I jam. Uh, but it's a great guitar. Going to be playing to my two favorite amps today. I'm going to go for the Kraken and I'm going to go for the Powerball 2. Love them both. Gig with them both many, many times. I love them. And I just never really done them together like this back to back. So I figured I'd give it a shot and see how it sounds. So here we go. Right now the uh, Kraken is definitely a little more mid focused in your face. Let's turn on the mid boosted on the Powerball so a little more even on the mid. completely different flavor. I love them both. They both are pretty tight. <laughs>
I think the Kraken may be a little tighter. Um, the angle has it is a little squishier, definitely a little squishier, but uh, which is kind of weird because I, you know, I always pictured I feel like the Kraken's everything the 5150 wishes it could be, and the 5150 kind of has that squishiness to it, you know. Well, the 6505, same thing, um, has that squishy feeling, and like I said, I've always thought the Kraken is everything the 5150 wishes it could be. And I still believe that. Um, I mean, this amp is basically unusable without it without an OD. I mean, these are straight in. There's nothing going on, and they just both sound fantastic. Um, the angle's my baby. That's my cream of the crop. It's the best amp I've ever had, ever will have, probably. But um, I love them both. They're just great. Love them both. <laughs> this um, the angle is definitely more friendly live it's so much warmer at high volumes the Kraken gets out of hand it is a vicious beast um, I'm barely I'm on one right now on the master volume on the 50 watt set. 
shoot. Sorry, so my card just filled up right in the middle of recording. So what I was saying is, um, Angle's better live. Obviously, it's got a much better clean channel also. I mean, this really only has two dirty channels, but Kraken is a vicious, vicious beast. Um, it's only, I'm only about one right now in the 50 watt setting. And you play that live around four or five, and it just turns into a, a demon, a Kraken. Um, it's, it's, it gets harsh. The feedback is not nice and round. It's very sharp and spiky. Um, this thing will just, it's, it's so smooth, so smooth and warm. It doesn't matter. It just sounds, it'll just carry just that sustain and just, you can just roll it for almost ever. This thing, you could, you start it and it just goes, it just, it just jumps on you. Um, but it's cool. They're both great. I fucking love them. I mean, this is, once you learn how to deal with this, the way it reacts and stuff, it's, it's still a great amp. You just gotta, you just gotta treat it a little different than this. This is basically, you have, Free reign to do whatever the hell you want. Plus four channels. This one has the two. But um, yeah, I'm running them both through my two by twelve angle vintage thirties. Mic'ing with the SM57 and an E609. Pretty much my standard issue. That's what I do. All my recordings. Um, switching them here through the uh, radial tone bone tube head switcher. Fantastic pickup. I just got that this week. Wanted to try that out too. Another reason I was doing this video. But yeah, it's been a while. Figured it was time. So yeah, there it is, man. PRS SC Tremani. And my amps. See ya.